Hi guys, GB here and welcome back to my art life. For today's episode, I'll be using touch alcohol markers to color Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist takes place in the fictional country of Amestris, and in this world, alchemy is one of the most practiced sciences. Alchemists who work for the government are known as state alchemists and are automatically given the rank of major in the military. Alchemists have the ability to create almost anything they desire with the help of patterns called transmutation circles. However, when they do so, they must provide something of equal value in accordance with the law of equivalent exchange. The only things alchemists are forbidden from transmuting are humans and gold. There has never been a successful human transmutation, and those who attempt it lose a part of their body and the result is an inhuman mass. Attemptees are confronted by Truth, which is a godlike being who tauntingly regulates all alchemy use and whose appearance is relative to the person to whom Truth is conversing with. It is frequently claimed and believed that Truth is a personal god who punishes the arrogant. Now for the main characters. Edward and Alphonse Elric live in Rizambul with their mother Trisha and father Van Hohenheim. Trisha soon dies from an illness and after finishing their alchemy training under Izumi Curtis, the Elrics attempt to bring their mother back with alchemy. The transmutation backfires and Edward loses his left leg while Alphonse loses his body. Edward sacrifices his right arm to revive Alphonse's soul, binding it to a suit of armor. Edward is invited by Roy Mustang to become a state alchemist and to research a way to restore their bodies. Edward undergoes a painful medical procedure which grants him a prosthetic automail limbs. Edward then becomes a state alchemist with the title of Full Metal Alchemist. The Elrics spend the next three years searching for the mythical Philosopher's Stone to achieve their goals. The Elrics were eventually attacked by an Ishbalan serial killer known as Kar, who targets state alchemists in revenge for his people's genocide in the Ishbalan Civil War. Returning to Rezimbul to have Edward's limbs repaired by their childhood friend and mechanic Winry Rockbell, the Elrics meet Dr. Marco, who provides them with clues to learn that a Philosopher's Stone is created from human souls. They investigate a laboratory in which the stones were created, but are hindered by the homunculi. The Elrics decided to visit Izumi, hoping to improve their alchemy. Mustang's friend Maze Hughes continues the Elrics' research and finds out about a government conspiracy, but is killed by the homunculus Envy. The Elrics learn from Izumi that she attempted to use alchemy to revive her stillborn child. Alphonse is captured by the homunculus Greed, but is rescued by a mistress leader, King Bradley. Bradley is revealed to be the homunculus Wrath and brings the captured Greed to the homunculi's creator, Father. When Greed refuses to rejoin his fellow homunculi, he is reabsorbed by Father. After meeting with Lin Yao, who seeks a Philosopher's Stone to cement his position as heir to his country's throne, the Elrics return to Central City, where they learn of Hugh's murder. Lieutenant Maria Ross is framed for Hugh's murder, so Mustang fakes Ross's death and smuggles her out of the country. In encounters with the homunculi, Mustang kills Lust. Lin captures Gluttony, who swallows Lin, Edward, and Envy into his void-like stomach. They escaped from Gluttony's stomach after he takes Alphonse to meet Father, who makes Lin the vessel of greed. Mustang tries to expose Bradley to the government, but finds that the higher officials are complicit of Father's plans. The Elrics and Mustang are released, but warned not to oppose Father, who seeks to use them as human sacrifices. Meanwhile, Scar heads north with Mei Chang, fired corrupt official Yoki, and kidnapped Dr. Marco. The Elrics head north as well and reach Fort Briggs, commanded by General Olivier Armstrong. They confront the homunculus Sloth and learn that Father founded a mistress to amass enough population to create a massive Philosopher's Stone. With it, he can achieve godhood by absorbing the being beyond the Gate of Truth on the Promised Day. Forced to work with Solf Kimbley, a murderous former state alchemist and ally of the homunculi, the Elrics turn on him and split up. 
joined by a reformed Scar, his group, Kimberly's Chimera subordinates, and later by Lin, now known as Greed. Hohenheim reveals that he was made an immortal when Father arranged the fall of Salxus four centuries ago, and had been working since then to stop Father. The promised day arrives with Father planning to use an eclipse and human sacrifices in order to trigger the transmutation. The Elrics and their comrades battle Father's minions with Kimbley and almost all of the homunculi dying. However, Father manages to activate the nationwide transmutation circle and absorbs the superior being. Hohenheim and Scar activate countermeasures draining much of Father's absorbed souls, rendering him unstable. The Elrics and their comrades face Father in a final battle in which Greed is killed by Father. Alphonse, with his armor almost destroyed, sacrifices his soul to restore Edward's right arm and Edward defeats Father, who is dragged into the Gate of Truth from which he was created. Edward sacrifices his ability to perform alchemy to fully restore Alphonse, while Lynn receives a Philosopher's Stone. Hohenheim goes to visit Trisha's grave, where he dies peacefully. The Elrics return home, but separate two years later to research alchemy further. And years later, Edward and Winry have married and have two children. And that's Full Metal Alchemist in a nutshell. This anime series has everything from fierce battles to drama to comedy, not to mention magic and alchemy. Full Metal Alchemist is worth watching in re-watching, so if you haven't seen the anime series yet, it's about time that you do, and you won't be sorry. There's also a live-action version to binge on, so better check that out as well. That's it for today's video folks and thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to support this channel and it will be a great help for me to create more videos like this. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.